I'm Priscilla Mosqueda. I'm Chris Barreca, and welcome to El Camino Reality. Last week, Play Productions The Suicide gathered big audiences. As the title may seem serious, the play was a comedic hit with the viewers. So this show was particularly like hard to take on, I think, for a cast of high schoolers because it's about, it has like kind of um, a mature message because it's about being unemployed and the, you know, the obstacles that go along with that. So, I mean, I think that the cast did a great job, a great interpretation of that for what we could have done because it's not something that a lot of us have experienced. I thought the show went really well. We got a whole lot of positive feedback from it and um, it was just, as always, every play we do is like a really fun experience, like being backstage and coming out after the show's over and seeing everyone and hearing what they thought about what the play was and how it was. And, um, it was fun. It was unlike any other show we've ever done here, or at least in my experience of being here for four years, and um, it went really well. So going in, I was a little apprehensive about all the announcements and how they kept saying that it was so funny, but coming out, I was so surprised that they turned something so black and so dark into like, a show that was so comedic. I really enjoyed The Suicide. Uh, so I went and saw The Suicide on Friday night. And I thought it was pretty funny, and I was pretty much laughing through the whole thing. Okay, first, about the suicide, I thought that the actual play, like the storyline, was kind of weird. I thought it was, I thought it was funny. It had a really good, mom good moments. I liked a few of the characters. Donovan's character was really funny. The performances were amazing. Oh, yeah. They were amazing. They were really, really good. Yeah. Everything, so realistic. I was really into it. Like. The actors were all. Taco like, was really good. He's very good. Next semester, you can look forward to. Um, well, we're not doing a next another play next semester, but we are doing a scenes of one acts, which is like different groups doing different scenes. So that's pretty cool. We're doing the big event, which is um, art, music, play, <laughs> dance, and all that, and we get like this big like extraordinary night of fun and come support the arts. Booyah! With the holiday season in full swing, don't let the cold weather keep you in. Here are some winter activities to keep you and your family busy. So pull up a chair, grab a pen, and take some notes. part of Canada Cane Lane is seeing all the houses that are really decorated nicely and all the new cartoons that people incorporate into and the new movies incorporate into their, their uh, decorations. this holiday season, many volunteered this past Thanksgiving. Our field reporters covered the story at Temple Beth Hillel's Thanksgiving feast. It was a very nice uh, Thanksgiving celebration. It's always very friendly and very, uh, the food is very well prepared. They were absolutely wonderful, beautiful time. They treat us like gold and it was great. Just being here was fun. They were treated like kings and queens. I think it's awesome. You guys are wonderful. This is our 10th year doing our Feed the Hungry Feast. We've uh, serving incrementally more people every year. This year we're hoping to serve about a thousand meals, five to six hundred on site and about four hundred being delivered to people's homes. We serve everything. It's all homemade. It's been cooking since last Sunday. We serve turkey. We serve uh, cornbread stuffing that was made. We made the cornbread, then we made the stuffing. We serve vegetables, homemade apple cobbler, sweet potatoes with marshmallows on top. Everybody gets a full Thanksgiving meal, and then they get a goodie bag to go home. Every family who comes in gets hosted by 
one of our families and they get asked questions and they get to be a part of a whole warm, inclusive environment for the day. Mm -hmm. To get involved with our Thanksgiving feast, you just have to call in ahead of time so we can get you to volunteer. We cook all week long before, so you can always volunteer in the kitchen to do that. We have folks who make decorations, we have folks who make the bags to give away. And so this is a big process for our congregation. Um, you can also volunteer the day of as well. Susan, we're here because we really have no family. And so it's nice for them to experience for a couple of hours a connection with the community. I'm a professional chef, so I brought the expertise to do this. Uh, prior to that, we as a group went down to the LA Mission to help serve, and we felt that we could bring the, uh, the quality of service right from the San Fernando Valley. And we took that down. Help people. I, uh, I also volunteer in the uh, food pantry that gives food to most of these people on a weekly basis. Monday or Friday out of First Christian Church. Uh, and it's nice to be able to give people uh, some sunshine in their lives. Then uh, a couple times a week, trucks come, take these bags to the church, and at the church people come and we give them food. Give them a bag of food per family. For everyone here at El Camino Reality, I'm Chris Bereca. I'm Priscilla Mosqueda, and have a happy...